Hey, what's up everybody? This is Paulio Jr. again, and today I'm going to show you how to properly back up uh, your Windows operating system. So this 100% works for Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, and Windows 10 without a question. I will be doing it on Windows 10, but just know that that this option works for 7, 8, and 10. I'm not 100% 100 sure about Windows 11, but let's just go, to, let's just get into it, make it as simple as possible. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the, to the control panel. So we're just gonna search uh, control panel. And we're gonna open that up. And We'll go to system and security and we'll go to system and over here on the right side, the right hand side, we're going to go to, you can go to advanced, but you can also, if system protection is there, go there and let's see here, uh, okay. So here's our main drive, obviously. Before we do anything, we always want to make a system, <clears throat> excuse me, a system restore point. So what you would do is create it, maybe type in the date. <laughs> I got two, min two minutes left until midnight, until it's 420, dude. Um, but I would typically write something like um, before backup, um, you know, 4-19-2022, whatever it is, you know, whatever. <clears throat> and then you would hit create. So once that's created, it'll be saved in this system restore part. So if you're in, so I actually make a system restore point before uh, I'm doing anything that I feel might affect Windows as a whole. So if I need to go back, I just go here and go to system restore and choose a point in time in which the settings were correct. So hit system restore, go to next, and then you see there's automatic points that have been made. Um, and there were ones that I actually did. Um, now if yours isn't there, you, you can click show more restore points. And you can go back even further. So, um, but yeah, so I did this. So some of them have been automatic, which is good. Other ones I've done manually. Anyway, make this create a system restore point first. Now, once you're done that, we want to go to backup. So, uh, are we in system still? Uh, home. Let's go with home. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's just type in, let's type in backup. Mm, not in there, sorry guys. All right, so I'm gonna exit this just so we can go back. Control panel again, open it up. And now you see like this Windows 7 um, GUI. That's what it looks like exactly. It doesn't look like the rest of uh, like Windows 10. So you you should probably see this backup and restore, and it says Windows 7. That just means it's using the Windows 7 uh, way to do it. So if it's not there, click on System and Security, and then you should see it. A big icon that says Backup and Restore Windows 7 in parentheses. So that doesn't mean that like it's gonna turn into Windows 7 or anything like that. It's just using the same process for Windows 10 and I've done this a couple of times. So um, the first thing we wanna do is, you know, ignore the right hand side and just use the left hand side. But we wanna create a system image. Now the image is going to be, uh, I would obviously recommend it to be as big as your hard drive, if not more. So um, I, I think the hard drive on here might be like 250, 500 gigs, something like that. Um, 
So I have an external hard drive plugged in via USB, or you can have a, one, an extra hard drive already plugged in, it doesn't matter, or even a thumb drive that I could back it up on a thumb drive. You have a couple uh, one terabyte uh, thumb drives. Uh, so create system image, and it's gonna look for a backup device. So whether it's a internal hard drive, whether it's an external hard drive, whether it's a USB slash thumb drive, doesn't matter. It's just looking for it, looking for backup devices. And I hope that it works sooner than this. <laughs> ASAP. I always forget the pause button, but so what I'll do is I'll pause it and come back once this is done. Hopefully it isn't long. Okay, so for whatever reason that took uh, like an extra 20 seconds. So I have labeled my, like, I don't have any other ones, so <laughs> plugged in, but I label my external hard drive as laptop backup. Um, and now let's say I were to hit it should format it so let's see here next right and then any existing any existing system images for okay yeah so this is fine the following drives will be backed up you want to keep all of these and then you would just click start backup so basically it will just erase anything that is on the external on the hard drive that you're backing it up to everything will be erased and all that will be left is a system image so and that's all you need really <laughs> for the most part so let me go to I'll just show you what it looks like in here laptop so you see uh, that's all that's all it is it's a folder Windows image backup yes I do <laughs> laptop PC um, and that's it everything that I need is on um, is in this folder so that's it that's that's it Windows image backup that's all I need done easy so um, so there's our image so the image is basically how you have everything how everything looks um, all of your programs, everything as you're, you know, looking at your computer right now, everything that you see, everything that's running in the background, um, everything that's installed will all come back. It's not like you have to reinstall anything, enter new passwords or, uh, enter new serial codes and stuff like that for programs. None of that. You don't have to do anything. It'll all come back exactly the same it's an image it's literally a mirror image of what you have so uh, let's go back now the second part now this is create a system repair disk now typically you would just use a CD minus R uh, you can find if you okay it has to be on a CD um, so a CD minus R so most laptops still do have CD-ROM drives that you can burn with. Um, if not, uh, there are, um, I actually don't have a CD-ROM. So actually, I use a USB CD-ROM to burn this too. So as you can see, I'll click uh, create, system uh, create a system repair disk and it says Windows did not find a CD DVD burn. I did so because I just don't have it uh, on here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause the video plug in my USB and show you pause okay so I have plugged in my USB uh, CD-ROM burner so it actually comes in handy more than you think uh, so a lot of people have steered away from CD-ROM uh, drives but so now that it's plugged in, I create a system repair disk. Now it comes up. There it is, right? So and then you would just click create disk and let it finish from there. 
So I'll show you what it looks like once it's finished. We just go, there it is. DVD, yep, and 64-bit. Even though it says Windows 7 64-bit, um, this is the, uh, what you gonna call it? The image, this is the, yeah, this is the system repair disk. So even though it says Windows 7 64-bit, that's fine. I think that's just what I named it. Um, but uh, you could write, you could, I think you can name it Windows 10, whatever you want, but it'll work either way. So what you, when the, let's just say you needed to just install this on a completely new hard drive. So what you would do is you would have your CD-ROM, you would put this, if you have a built-in CD-ROM, awesome, put it in there. If not, put the, um, you know, put the disc in a USB one and you boot from this. So as the computer is starting up, you try to, whatever it is you to go to boot options, whether it's like F1, F12, delete, you know, it's, it's different for every computer. Um, you go to boot options and then you would select the CD, the CD drive, uh, in which the, uh, what you gonna call, in which the system repair disc is in. You see how it has that boot folder. That means it'll boot into that. And then once it's, it'll be running, it'll have like the window sign. And from there, it'll say, you know, select the image, select the, um, what you gonna call? Okay, let's close this. It'll say, you know, select the system image. And then you will see the image that we initially created is right there. So you click on that, hit next, let it follow through. And um, after that, <laughs> it's just gonna be exactly what you saw on your previous um, hard drive. It's just gonna probably operate better because it's a new hard drive. So that's it. So I just wanted to show you the correct way to do it. First thing is you make a system restore point no matter what before you do a backup then you create a system image then you create the repair disk it has to be cd minus r you do that and then um what you call once the computer is off as you start it up go into boot options load the cd rom drive and then obviously the uh, external hard drive or whatever it is that has the system image on it that's also plugged in so you can select it and then you're back to your whatever windows you're back to your old windows 10 um, exactly how you had it all your icons will be in the same exact spot everything will be saved everything 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 that you have on there will be saved so and obviously, uh, you can restore from here as well. It says select another backup uh, to restore files from. Uh, so, you know, we would need to, uh, what you call? That's for files. That's not for the, for the system image. I just like, the system image is just perfect because it is everything. It's everything. We're not just selecting specific files and so forth. You can do that, you know, with Google Drive. You, you can do that just by having a pretty decent size um, secondary hard drive in which you can just drag files over and so forth. But if you want the complete system image of everything that you've installed and you don't want to change, you know, change uh, or go back in and put new passwords in and reinstall everything, then the system image way is the way to go. So, yeah. So I hope that that helped you because that's really, that's how it works. They, they have not changed it since Windows 7. That is exactly how it works. So even though it has the Windows 7 in parentheses, it's totally fine. So, uh, yeah. Any questions, put them in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer them. So thank you, everybody, for watching. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.